Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will implement grid layout in Qt framework by using C++. So I will create a new project and for this I will press new and here I will select Qt widgets application and then I will press this choose button and here I will declare a name for our project and name is grid. You can use any other name uh, and here you have some options like QMake, CMake and QBS. But I will work with QMake. Uh, so I will keep it as it is. So I will press next button. And here you can see this is class information. Like uh, this main window is our class name. And this Q main window is our base class. And header file, source file and from file is main window dot UI. And then I will press next button again and here you can see this window this is for translation file you can uh, translate any file into other language but i will keep it at it is uh, uh, i mean none so i will press next button again and here you can see a list of some kits i will uh, work with min gw64 bit kit but you can use any other uh, kit okay and then i will press next and here i will press finish button uh, so this is our project and uh, here i will create my own window uh, so first of all i will remove this main window dot edge file okay uh, so these are our two files and header files and i will remove this first uh, file that is main window dot edge and then I will remove these two statements uh, main window uh, w and w dot show uh, because these two uh, statements relates to main window dot edge file and now here I have to include you label header file by using sharp include uh, because I have to use two Q, uh, sorry label widgets because I have to set two strings uh, one is hello and other is word uh, so first of all I will set position for hello and then I will set an other position for word uh, so this work like a table uh, that work like rows and columns so here I will include Q label uh, that is header file so here I will select from given options q label and uh, other i will use here by using sharp include q uh, grid list okay sorry grid layout here i will type grid layout and next i have to create a window that is my own window in this project uh, so here i will use q widget uh, so here i will type Q widget and then I will create a pointer for this Q widget and pointer is W. You can use any name but I am using here W and then I will use new keyword and then I will uh, define here Q widget with parenthesis okay and uh, we are creating a pointer for this Q widget window and here uh, I will use semicolon in last of statement. So next I have to show this window. Uh, so I will use here W pointer and then arrow and then I have to call show function. Uh, so here in list I can see show and I selected this show function and next. Uh, so I have to create a label widget. So here I will use Q label. So uh, this is our Q label and next I have to create a pointer for this Q label and pointer is label uh, sorry label one because I have to uh, implement two uh, label widgets. So first is label one and here I will use new uh, keyword and then Q label and parenthesis and then here I will use semicolon and here I will type a string uh, so string is hello because first word is hello and other label is word so here i will use q label and then i will create a pointer that is label 2 and here this is label 2 and uh, so here i will use new keyword and then q label and then i will set value 
word for this uh, level two. Uh, so here in parentheses, I will use word string. Okay. So this is word string. First level is hello and other level is string. Uh, sorry, word. These are two strings. And next I have to use Q grid layout that works like a table. And you know that table contains row and columns. And I will uh, explain later. And here I will uh, use this Q grid layout. And then I have to create a pointer for this grid layout. And pointer is grid. Okay, you can use any other name uh, like grid layout and other. So here I will use new keyword and then uh, Q grid layout and semicolon. You will not use parentheses and then I have to set position of level one and level two. So here I will use this uh, grid uh, pointer and then uh, I will use arrow and then I will add widget. Uh, so this is function for adding a widget and what is our widget that is label one and now I have to define its position uh, first of all in rows and then in columns I will show graphically uh, so this is a, our table and you can consider as a user interface window and here first is our row from left to right and then from uh, up to down is our column uh, so here total columns are one two three and four these are four columns and one two three four and five rows this is our table uh, but you can consider it as a user interface window and now we have to put our first label in this first cell uh, so this is our row number zero and column number zero because we start our index numbers from zero, not from one. So here, this is our row number zero and column number zero. Uh, then we have to set our first level in this cell that is uh, index zero for row and index zero for column. And then we have to set our level two in row number one and uh, cell number, sorry, column number zero so i will set values uh, i hope you got it and here i will uh, type a code for uh, setting these positions and this is our zero for row and then this is our zero for column uh, so i will use semicolon in last of our statement and then i will use grid pointer again and arrow and here i will add widget again because I have to set here label two and then I have to assign positions to this label two and uh, our row is one, I mean second row because we represent our second row with one, okay? And then I have to assign it a column, first column and we represent first column from zero, okay? by zero sorry and here uh, this is our code for assigning positions to our labels and here i have to set uh, layout uh, so i will use w pointer and arrow so here i will uh, call function set layout and here what is our layout that is grid uh, grid is our pointer that points to our grid layout uh, so here i will assign grid and then semicolon uh, so our code is completed and here I will run it but I have error because I have not used uh, this semicolon in last of our statement. I will uh, press run button again and I will wait until completing this build process and after it you can see output. This is our user interface window and here you can see this is our hello label and this is our word label but uh, now you have to understand that this hello is in row one and column zero but word is in row one and column zero next i have to change position of this word so i will close this user interface window and here i will change position uh, i have to set label two 
after our label one so here i will use uh, row number zero and then column number one that will consider as second column and our label one is in our first column and first row but our label two will be set on uh, first row and second column uh, sorry here i will type one because uh, one represents second column okay uh, so i will run it again and after a small wait uh, we can see this is output and you can see here that this is hello in row one and column one and word is in position row one column two so uh, indeed uh, this column is column one but we consider it as a second column and now i want to show you something that if we increase or decrease our window size uh, then our widget size also increase and decrease it's mean that our application can run on any other uh, operating system like ios linux and other uh, so now i want to change position of level one and level two i want to show level one after level two so here i will change positions uh, so here i will use uh, row one for level one and row zero for level two and after it i will use uh, column zero for level two uh, and now i will run it again and after a small time you can see that we changed positions of widgets uh, sorry i will open it again and this is our user interface window and here you can see that we changed positions of our labels uh, first we set our word and after it i set hello uh, label uh, so you can change the, these positions according to your desires so it was programmed to implement uh, q grid layout i hope it was very easy to understand for you if you liked this video please share with your friends and subscribe our youtube channel